Hi everybody, welcome to a new design team project for Country Craft Creations. I'm trying to catch up. I fell behind when I moved. Um, this one's fun. They're all fun, but I like this one. Um, the paper collection is Voyage from Authentique. You will have seen it in my um, design team haul, but here's the sticker sheet. And it is, I don't know, I'm not sure what to call it. I'm, I've been calling it like a tag folder kind of thing, but let's take a look. So I've got red seam binding holding it closed. It's not too big. Um, there's the back. It is dinged a corner there. Um, how big is it? Six and a quarter by about four and three quarters. And the spine is one and three quarters, give or take. I think I cut it one and a half, but with the folds, that's what it came out to. And as you can see, I used the addition to the uh, authentic collection. I used artisan cardstock in navy, and I used the graphic 45 regular tags. I used six of those, and I used the um, die that I had to mat those, and then we decorated them. And almost everything's from the collection, but I did use a couple of little pieces of ephemera. They were Tim Holtz from um, my stash, but mostly it's just things from the collection. So let's take a quick look. Here on the inside cover, isn't that cute with the little crabs? We have this charming little boy. And then these are just folders you can put pictures in. And then it's matted on the back. And then we have the first of the tags. We'll make all these tags together. And they're matted pretty plainly on the back so you can put your photos. There's a pocket there. And Here's the second tag, and here's another tag, and this is just tucked in, so you could tuck a photo in that one. And I didn't mat uh, the backs of the pockets, but you could if you wanted to. And then this one has a side pocket insert, uh, and it's just a little card. I used the folded page technique to make this one set of pages, um, and you'll see in the video. And then here is the next tag. And here's another one. And again, this is just tucked in, so you could put a photo or whatever there. And there's the last one. And then we have another one of the little booklets here. And that is it. It's a pretty quick project to make. It's easy. Um, you, you know, it will be easier if you have that graphic 45 die, which you can get at Country Craft Creations. If you don't have it, I do tell you a workaround in the, in the tutorial. Um, but it's well worth the money if you haven't already purchased it. And then I have navy and red seam binding there. So that is the project. Um, stay tuned. We will get started right away. So I hope you'll join me with making a project. <laughs> I'm tripping over my tongue. All right, I'll see you in a second. We'll get started. Hi, everybody. Welcome to my little tag folder project. This is a design team project for Country Craft Creations. And let me show you what we've got to work with. You will have seen the walkthrough by now, but um, all right, so we're using Authentique Voyage, and I have the 12 by 12, the six by six, and the little uh, life cards. Okay, and then I also have the Warm and Cozy collection from Echo Park, um, which I pulled in it, um, goes really well with this collection. So I have that. And we have artisan card stock in navy. And again, all of this is from Country Craft Creations. And I also have some seam binding, which I don't seem to have out. Hang on. Well, I'm not sure what I did with it, but I'll find it at some point. Okay, but as you can see, any what colors would go. All right, so 
let me show you how to make the one base page for which you will need one sheet of the artisan cardstock. And you may need some more of this navy for other things, but uh, certainly we'll use it for the cover. So you won't need many sheets of it. So if you don't have, sorry, I'm opening the bag. If you don't have a whole package of it, you can probably get, I don't know, four or five sheets, be plenty. I'm guessing now because even though you've seen the walkthrough, I haven't finished making it, so I'm not sure how many I'm going to use, but not too many. All right, so for this, now if you've seen my video, and I'm pulling up my scoreboard, um, if you've seen my video on how to make folded pages, most often I use a square, and usually it's the whole 12 by 12. This, we're going to use the same method, but we are making a rectangle. So what we need is a piece eight and a half by ten. So I'm going to cut this eight and a half. You can see I've got my scraps from the other one right there by ten. Get this out of the way. I'm going to set these aside because we might use them for something. this, I would use my large scoreboard. I can't find it. <sighs> I'm sure I put it in a safe place. Okay, so whenever you make these folded pages, you score it in half in both directions. So on this 10 inch side, we're going to score it at 5. and then rotate 90 degrees and you're going to score this in half and that's four and a quarter. This is what we want to end up with. Okay, so let me unfold it. All right, so you can see this. So see how it's cut here? So you want to take along one of these longer sides and cut only to the middle, right? It doesn't matter which one. I'll just cut here. But do try to be accurate. And you can use your um, paper trimmer for this, but I'm not really good at partial cuts on my paper trimmer. Okay, just like that. And then you want to fold, and you can see I try and line up your corners, which I should have done there, and I didn't. Let's line that up a little better. in half again and again you want to line up your corners if you can it's tricky to get everything to line up with this type of a page I don't know why but it is just do your best So you're just going to fold it in half again. Gonna, so now you have these two little open like this. This is your fold. It's open down here and you just fold and fold. So you're going to end up with an opening here that's going to go uh, to attach into your cover. And then on this side you have a page and a page and then a fold here and we're going to close this here. Okay, so you, you know, we've made these a lot before if you've uh, been watching my channel at all. It's a, it's a style I like a lot. Okay, so there's that. Now, I mentioned that we had set aside our scraps. So let me pull those over because I think we can use those. 
uh, maybe not the little ones, at least not now, but the big ones, because we need to um, close the bottom and simultaneously make a pocket here in the second section, the middle section. We're also going to need pockets here and here. So let's see, this is how wide? Three and a half. So that'll give us one and three quarter height on the pockets, which seems like a good height. So yeah, these pieces we can use for that. And what we'll need, let's do the middle part first. We're gonna need one that is now remember this was four and a quarter, but because of folding and burnishing and whatnot, it's a little bit, um, it's a little less than that now. So let's let's start at four and an eighth, or maybe four and three sixteenths. Yeah, let's say four and three sixteenths. Let's cut one of these and we'll see how that does for us. So that's just that little short line right before the quarter inch. We cut the second one. Let's make sure this one's going to work. And we're going to score it in half. So that's one and three quarters. Oh, all right. So you were probably yelling at me when I was cutting that. I forgot to add the inch for the um for the sides. Five and three sixteenths. Okay. So let's cut that one. Fortunately, I have plenty of paper. I'll try and have a cutting guide for this one. I didn't for my last one because I was in the middle of moving and everything, but um, so let me make a note here. There. Okay, that's for the cutting guide. All right, let's try that again. Score it in half. One and three quarters. And then half inch at each end. in. All right, and let's take our page. So these are the two um, outer tabs. This is the one that's got the fold at the top. And it's at the fold at the bottom where this is going to go. And we're just going to wrap this around that. And let's check in for size. We line it up with the outside. That is, that's good. I'm happy. All right, so we are going to attach that like that. Okay, so here's our page. Some things out of the way because I was working on another one off screen. Okay, so here's our little page that we just made. And we want to add pockets to the bottom and at the same time close up this opening. So let me grab, here's one of our scraps. And from this, we're gonna cut a piece three and a half by five and three sixteenths. It's already three and a half. Turn this way. So 
five and three sixteenths, which is the little line just before the quarter inch. This is going to make a pocket that's a tiny bit shorter than the width of the um, spot where it's going, which will um, allow for um, some bulk that's going to be there. Okay. Now you want to take your score scoring tool. You want to score this in half. So that's at one and three quarters. Try it again. One and three quarters? I guess it is. Maybe I was on the wrong spot. Okay, one and three quarters, and then a half inch at each end. Okay, just like that. Score in half. Or fold it in half, excuse me. Burnish it. You don't have to worry too much about matching up corners. These are not going to be right next to each other. You'll see what I mean in a minute. And you want to trim your corners just up to that score line, not past it. There we go. And then you're going to fold the little tabs in and burnish those and burnish okay and then we're going to add a little tape to each of those and you just gonna angle the, the end of the tape And you can do this before you trim these um, tabs, the corners off the tabs, but I'm just doing it like this. Okay, so there's that. So what you want to do, all right, so here's our page that we made. Here's a little flap, here's a little flap. Here is the fold, and here's the opening. So what we're going to do, we need three of these, and we're going to wrap around the bottom here to make a pocket on each side. Same here, but on this one, we need to wrap it around both sides to close the bottom and make the pockets, if that makes sense, just like that. Okay. That make sense? Should, hopefully. Just like that. Okay, so in order to do that, let's open this up. And this can be a little fussy, to say the least. It's kind of a pain, but once you get it done, you'll have a nice um, pocket and your um, the bottom of this will be closed. So what I'm going to do is line up the outside edge so that it's you know it's right up to my fold but not past it just like that let's make sure this one I should have been a little more careful about that but it's fine okay and then we've got this and then this is just going to come up and over seal off the bottom and you can see they don't line up because it'll be hidden inside the pocket so you won't even ever know should have done a better job folding this one. The one that I actually did a minute ago with you, I lined up my corners better. Okay, so there's that one. All right, so now we have pocket, pocket, and then we have these two. So we need to make two more of these and wrap these two outer ones. So let me go ahead and do that. All right, so that is that. And we can just go ahead and Burnish everything. Get some of these out of the way. All right. And give everything a good 
brush. All right, now you've got quite a bit of bulk, so that's fine. It's gonna, that's what we're expecting. Now you've got your tags. These are the Graphic 45 regular tags, and you will need six of them. Okay, one, two, okay, three, there we go. Four, five, and six. Okay, so that is all of that. And then we're going to make a little cover for it. And we have to decorate all six of these tags. So you can see it's going to bulk out quite a bit. Um, so we're probably going to leave, uh, you know, it's going to, for a, a little book that only has one page signature in it, it's going to have a fairly wide spine. Probably, I haven't made it yet, but. Certainly three quarters of an inch, maybe even a whole inch. We'll see. It depends on how bulky things get with these tags. All right. So I'm going to take a quick break. I'm trying to decide if I want to make cover now or start on the tags. I think I want to start on the tags. So I am just going to gather a few things and be back and we will get going on our tags. Okay. I am back and looking for the pin of my glue again there it is all right so i did a couple things while we were while i was gone I'll put this here um i took my first card uh, which is the, the one that goes here the first tag and again these are the graphic 45 regular tags and i used the die the regular die and i cut out this hexagon uh, pattern for the front of the card and this red wood grain for the back of the tag. And I put those on. Now, if you don't have these, I highly recommend them. They make everything look polished and neat and easy. However, I understand you might not have them. They're well worth the price if you wanna get them. Again, I got that at Country Craft Creations. Um, but if you don't have one, you could cut your mats about three and three quarters by four and seven eighths, give or take, and then use a corner rounder and you won't have any matting up here, but you'll have it down here. So your choice. All right, so, so we're gonna leave the back for your photo. I don't think I'm gonna put anything there. And we're just gonna play with this. And I do wanna show you, um, I have a Sizzix and I don't know what I was thinking when I cut this. It has these adorable little crabs, which I'm going to use. Why I put it way down here, I don't know. If I put it up here, I could have got two off here. So pay attention to that when you're doing yours. So I, I know I'll be able to use this part. But what I'm thinking, maybe this part, yeah. I want to put something down in this corner. Oh, I see. The problem with that is I have to have the crabs going right side up. I think I'm just going to have to accept the fact that I'm wasting. So I think I'm going to do is round this corner to somewhat match that. So corner rounders. I've got a shoebox with lots of stuff that I use all the time. All right, so I'm just going to round this corner here. And I think I need to get some ink out because I think I want to do some inking on this. And I really just want to sort of have a torn corner. I'm just going to do that. I may have to adjust this after, but let's see. That's that's actually pretty good. I think I will leave that as is. All right, let me see if I can find some ink. Okay, I'm going to use Vintage Photo, which I think would be good with this. I should have inked that, and I forgot. Oops. 
wrong one. <laughs> okay. So if we put that there. And what I'm wondering is if maybe only glue the edge so it ends up like a pocket. That kind of limits anything else that we might add to it. But I'm not I'm not averse to that. I mean we could still add a few little things. But then we could put like one of these uh, life card things in it. Yeah, that's cute. Okay, let's do that. We'll do some of these more elaborate than others, but I think that works for this. And uh, this is the first uh, tag that I pulled pulled out, but it could be one of the middle tags where there's a little less room since in that will way it will have less bulk. Okay, and this is my CVS baby wipe. I like that brand. It's just a dry baby wipe. I'll stick that in there. That looks cute. And it's already kind of aged, but we'll add some ink. Okay. And let's do the back too. see what else we want. Let's see, we've got stickers. So maybe something on here. We have this little boy. That's kind of cute. The other thing is, see how he's I mean, he's meant to be a flag, but I can't really do that because this is going in a pocket and it would be... Oh, we could though, because then it could stick out over the pocket. That would be cute. Let's do that. Okay, that's it. Let me grab a scrap. Is it going to fit that way? No. All right, so what we want to do is back this um, so that it's not sticky. I'm just leaving a tiny bit of the blue showing. And then I'm going to cut it. I don't know why I'm leaving any blue showing because it's going over blue, but we'll probably mat that pocket so it'll show. There. Let's see what else we might want to use. Just gonna get out this six by six, see if there's anything in there that would add to it a little bit. Maybe these stars. Okay, hang on. Thinking about two sheets. Um, maybe just hand cut a little, another little tag to go behind that one. All right, little banner. All right, so I think I better. I think I better use my paper trimmer. I was gonna do it by eye, but that seems like a a bad idea on reflection. This is. Five eighths. Right, I'm going to cut this one. Five eighths. Okay, and we want this one shorter, I think. So 
this is two and just shy of two and a quarter. I'm gonna cut this one two. something like that. And I'm just wondering, do we want to glue this down fully and just have this one loose? I think so, just because I think this would take a beating going in and out of a pocket. So let's glue this one down first. This one will just stagger up a little bit, I think. Yeah. Then we're just going to glue this one across the top and a little bit of the top, maybe like about the, that much. What's that? About a quarter of an inch. So, I've been. Today's Thursday. Normally I would work today. Um, but I have I have a lot of time that I have to use up so I've been taking some days off because I have a new project starting at work next week and after that starts I really won't be able to take too much time so I'm trying to get some things done oh that's cute yeah that works out and that's just tucked in now I wonder, let's just pull this out. Do we want to put anything there? No, I don't think so. That paper's pretty busy. That's fine. Now this may actually go like in here where there's less, as a matter of fact, let's just pull one of these out. But there's less room for anything too, um, too bulky. And then, yeah, this, cause this one could have, you know, some flowers or something dimensional on it because it's on the outside whereas this couldn't that's good I like that all right I like the way that works okay huh what are we gonna do next <laughs> just pull one out and do it right all right so this one I don't have anything cut for obviously but let me grab, this collection is awesome. There's so many great papers. So let's just pull this over and pick something else. I don't know why I'm dithering. The collection is as pretty as this one. You could basically use any of it and be fine. you can hear in the background um, announcements there is a school right down the street from me I can practically see it from up here because I'm on the second floor of my house and I can see all the trees uh, and across the street to the school and every afternoon about this time they're letting the kids out to the buses because there are kids in school right now which is kind of odd but there you go This time, I'm going to put this right down near the bottom so I don't waste so much paper like I did last time. And I'm cutting this straight up and down, but you could actually put these oars at an angle if you wanted to. Alright. 
This is a Sizzix Big Shot. One side, and then turn it over, and do the same thing on this side. That'll be the other side. Sure, my stripes are reasonably straight. Whoops, well, they were right up till that moment. easier to use that. Okay. So we're going to put this one on the front and this one on the back. And these are front and back. This smooth side of this ring is the front and this uh, divoted side is the back. that sticker sheet. Let's see if there's any stickers we want to use. What do I do with it? Hang on. Here it is. Okay. Because last time I, uh, <laughs> I didn't really leave myself a place to put any stickers. Is this a frame? Yeah, this is a frame. This is multiple pieces, this one. Might be cute to put something like this on. I think this has multiple stickers as well. Let's just pull it up. Take a look. Eh. I hate these stickers. I really do. Just make it one piece. That's kind of cute. All right. So let's just pull that off so I can get this on straight. I don't want to center it and make sure it is square. There we go. Oh, we should have inked that. Oh, well, it's fine because it blends in with the background. It's sort of straight. Good enough. All right, so yes, the bus announcements are well underway if you can hear them. That's cute. It's a little crooked, but it's okay. You know what we could do is put something down here where you won't, it won't be so noticeable that it's a little crooked. Maybe another sticker. That's cute. Before I put that down, I'm going to ink it.
five sixteenths and five sixteenths because I, I want this one to be straight since the other one isn't okay here we go okay five sixteenths that's cute now do we want to add I think we'll just leave that. Let's make it kind of plain. That leaves us a little bit of leeway here because this is um, meant to be the place for your photo, but that doesn't mean we can't put some stuff on it. So let's, let's move this aside. And we have this piece left over from when we cut the mat. So let's just cut that and let's cut that and it's a little fatter at the top than it is at the bottom. So let me just straighten that out a little bit, maybe. Okay, there we go. All right. And then I think we could I'm just trying to decide if I want to glue that how I want to glue that down. If you're gonna put a three by three by five, it's gonna be tight, so actually I think it's fine the way it is. Alright, so let's maybe put that there. I'm talking out loud. I mean, thinking out loud, I should say. Obviously, I'm talking out loud. Maybe we can do something with that as well. It's the little row of crabs. here on the back. Alright, let's do that. And I'm going to tear the bottom of this one as well. Alright. Right about there. Okay. And then we'll put this one. I hope that was recording because I record on my phone and I shouldn't get phone calls while it's recording and I just had a call come through. So. I hope it was recording. If it wasn't, I will go back through and review everything. All right, let me glue this down. You can say I put it up a little bit from the other one. Okay, super simple little tag for that one. Put that there. Cute. Okay, I am going to stop here so that I can check everything and see if it recorded and be back. Okay, so I checked and it looks like um, everything did keep recording, but I'm not sure. We'll see when I go to edit. <sighs> so it's been a while and 
um, I did a few things. I got out some of my Tim Holtz ephemera that seemed to be in the right colors. A lot of it says airmail refers to flying, so I don't know how much of those I'll use, but I'll use some. And then I pulled out all my tags. So there are a total of six. And any of the ones I hadn't yet um, matted, I did. And so I'll show you these two. What I did is I picked out sheets that I liked. I cut a four and a half inch strip from the sheet. Here, let me show you. And then I cut two pieces from each so that I had you know, a front and a back. And I put on most of them the front and the back that went with that particular piece of paper, but some I mixed up and I put the front on, on one tag and the back on another. But anyway, so I got all the tags matted. Let me set these over here. And then I have started laying out what I want to do on some tags. So let's do those. All right, so let me pull these out. Now, if you don't have this Tim Holtz ephemera, I don't know if Tamara has it right now. I know I got at least some of it from her. I'll post a link if I can find it. Oh, that's at Country Craft Creations. Uh, so here's the tag I'm working with, and I've got the little lighthouses on one side and stripe on the back. And then what I did is this is from that collection. If you cannot find this collection or don't want to, you can just... Um, I'm going to go in here and see. Uh, you could maybe take one of these and make a little tag, use one of the other papers and make a little tag, print something off the internet and make a little tag, but that's what that is. And then I took the red stripe, which is the back of these um, lighthouses, from the 6x6 six six collection. I cut a square 2.5 by 2.5, cut it in half on the diagonal, rounded the corner, inked it all up, and I'm gonna put that down there, okay, as a little tuck. So let's do that first. And then I've been working without access to my embellishments for a while, so I decided to go ahead and pull them out and use them. And if you've collected embellishments, you know, by all means, use what you have. I actually was looking to see if I had any flowers, but um, I really didn't. All the flowers I had were kind of frou-frou for this. Okay. And the um, half inch We Are Memory Keepers corner rounder is not exactly the same as the whatever these is used on these mats, but it's fine. All right, so that'll go there and also any picture. And then what I thought is I would use these two pieces, which are just a little red tag and a US airmail stamp, and just put them on like that, just to add a little more interest there. Just be careful you don't glue it past this uh, little stripe because you want to be able to get things in and out of there. And you know what, I probably should it. Well, I didn't really need to ink the red one, but I want to ink this one. this little circle which is just from cutting out the mats and I thought maybe I would add that maybe there or up there maybe just there do you hear my cat just how on what's the matter baby sometimes she wakes up she's not sure where I am and she does that or she knows where I am but she doesn't know where her sister is so she does that I'm going to put it right about there. There we go. Cute. Okay, so that's a very simple one, but I like it. Now we're going to have a little issue going in and out of the pocket with this, but it'll be all right. You just need to be careful. Okay. 
Now let me pull this one over. Hey, baby. Yeah, there she is. She's come to tell me all about it. So with this one, let me pull this out of the way. Um, we're going to do a couple of little strips. This is one of the um, cards, those life cards. This is from my Tim Holtz collection. So let me pull these off. And I've got the anchors here on this side and the blue stars on the back. So let's go ahead and these stripes are going to go on the bottom. And this is from the 6x6. Six six. And this is from the just a scrap from the 12x12. 12 12. I can give you a measurement. Hang on. Here she comes. Hey, Holly. All right, so the red stars are 5 eighths by 4. And this little scrap is 3 eighths. And what this is from is uh, one of these sides that was left after cutting. Where you go? Are you going to lie down? All right, I'll put her down. We'll see how long it lasts. Okay, so we're going to put these to one side. I've torn, whoops, well, it didn't last long at all. Honey, come on, I'm trying to work. You were, yes, I know. I know you want more attention. All right, and we have this. <laughs> I'm sure, everybody, you tell me. All right, let's try that again. So that's going to go there, that's going to go there, give or take, that is going to go there, or maybe, hang on, I can't remember how I actually had this, maybe it was this way, no, it was the way I had it, something like that, and then this is going to go here, and then I want to put this behind it, and I'll figure that out in a minute. I think I just want to go ahead, let's glue the red ones down first. And I already inked this one, I think. Looks like it anyway. Just putting that in about an eighth of an inch from the left and centered top to bottom. And this one I might have inked, but not very much, so I'm just going to give it a little bit more. All right, and I'm going to put that just about like that. So I'm going to put it a little bit further down, and so the edges are actually even, and it's just slightly below center. And then this is going to go there, but before I put that there, I want to put this, but I'm not going to put it, I'm not going to put just a square piece, I'm going to tear it. just need to decide where I want to tear it. I've got my um, We Are Memory Keepers tear guide. I think I've got these linked down below. And let's just put that about there. And tear it. And then let's tear it about there. And then I'm just gonna tear it sort of there by hand. Just get kind of a rough edge there. And most of it's hidden, but you'll see this upper part. Okay, and I'm just gonna tear a little bit here at the bottom. I 
I making that? It's going to be below the other piece, but that's okay. This whole bottom part may not even be visible because I've got this thing, but that's okay. All right. Just gonna put this in about oh sixteenth of an inch from the right side and up from the bottom, just like that. Okay, and this was from the six by six. I should have mentioned that. Maybe I did. I'm not sure. Okay, let's ink this. Careful with this one. You want to put north at the top, most likely. Just make sure you put it wherever it is that you actually want it. About like, maybe about like that. Let's see. I'm gonna play with that. Okay, put it a little higher. Yeah. Let's, let's do that. All right. So. So I've got two here, and I glued the wrong one. Oops. All right. Well, hang on. I'm just going to wipe that in case I want to use it somewhere else. Leave that to dry. I was thinking I was going to put this there. Yeah, I'm still going to put this there. Okay, let me ink that. I put it a little lower than I was planning because we might put a sticker or something up there. thinking of putting it on a backing and kind of leaving a tuck up under it, but everything else on this page is glued down, so there's not really the likelihood of tucking anything on this anyway. I'm just going to put that there. That's good. I like that. Okay, there's another one done. over. So we've got this one, we did this one, and then we have these two. We'll put this one on this side, and this one on this side. There we go. Looking good. All right, so we just have one, two left, and these are going to be the ones that are on the outside. 
maybe we can play with them put whatever we want wherever we want now this one I have this I have two of them really I have these two I just realized I was off camera these two little stickers that I really like but let me look at the cut aparts because we haven't really paid much attention to the cut aparts to this point there's one let me put the pin back in my glue I really love these sort of old-fashioned looking ones. There aren't any on here, so let me set that aside. But we have this one and this one and this one, which are all of a size to work. This one here with the lady in the red coat would probably look nice on here. I like both of these. I'm leaning towards this one though. So these are the two that I want. Okay, so let me grab those. And let's bring our little text back. Thinking of working this one onto this one. So let's set that aside. Let's work on this one. I just love the way that looks. Okay, so we have that. And I have, so this is the 6x6 six six version that has this wavy stripe. I mean, excuse me, the 12x12 12 12 has the wavy stripe. It has these boats. And I like these a lot, so I might work that in. Let me set that over there. And let's look at... Let's see if there's anything here we want to work with. Maybe this around the world. I liked it before and it just didn't work out. It does work here though. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that there. I'm probably gonna use that. And That's just too much to add to that. What's on the back of this? Right. That's not going to do it any favors. Let me set that aside. And let's look at what else I have floating around. I have some of this stripe floating around. Sometimes I feel like I add stuff just for the sake of adding stuff and it doesn't necessarily make the thing look any better. Maybe that. Let's see what I've got in here. So I do have this that sticker that I want to work with. Got our Union Jack. Maybe this instead. Maybe like that. All right, I kind of like that. All right, so let's 
pull those over, not that. And again, if you should be able to find, if you can't find the, and I'll link it down below, these uh, Tim Holtz ephemeras, but if I can't find them or I can't find something similar or you just don't want to buy them, you can find similar items, just pictures online, print them off and use them. Or just use, you know, whatever you have, scraps of paper, whatever you've got in your collection. exactly how I'm going to put this. I'm going to put that on top, I think. All right. So I'm going to put that there. this down low and to the right like that. Right. And then we have that sticker that I wanted to use. Maybe just like that. Hazards of long haired cat. Let's see if I can get it off. Right. Okay, just like that. Then I have a couple of these little circles. Do we want to add a circle? Wouldn't mind adding a circle, but I'm not sure I'm going to add that circle. Let's see what else we have here. Here's one. I've got quite a few layers there. I think if I add that, it's going to be a little angled. 
there. Nope. I think I've got so many layers that if I put anything that small, it's not going to look quite right. Because it's going to tip, unless I put it up on something. And I don't really want to do that with a tag. I'm looking at the stickers again to see if there's anything else. We have that little one we looked at on the last tag, this little guy. I think I'm gilding the lily. Okay, let's leave that. Let's call that one done. And let's put that there. Cute, just come along. Okay, so I just have this one more. And we know we're going to use this. So I love it. Maybe a little craft. I don't think I want to mat it, but maybe just, or maybe a torn mat behind it. Where's my little tearing ruler? You know what else might work too? Oops, there's a little bit of these ores. Oh my goodness, I'm throwing everything everywhere. Okay, let's play with this. All this stuff in the way. Hopefully you can see. Get that out of the way. Okay, so let's just play with this. This is artisan cardstock and craft that I'm whipping up here. close to the edge sometimes it's easier if you put the rip the large side Oof, doesn't want to rip okay hang on. all right let's try it the other way there we go all right so it's kind of rough but that's okay of this, but that's all right. All right, that's what I was looking for. All right, so if we do that, it's too fat. Let me just narrow it down. It's hard sometimes to rip cardstock, obviously. Clumsy today. Alright, so if we do something like that and that, just a little bit. And what did I do with those little oars? Here they are, right in front of me. 
and maybe the oars somewhere around there. thinking of using. Don't think I need it. All right, let's do let's do that. Okay. that. And don't forget on the back of all of these is where you'll put your pictures. Right, and then I'm going to put that like that. And I'm just wondering if I want to add anything else. I just feel like I don't really want to. I feel like anything else is going to take away from that artwork, which I really like a lot. Cute, okay. Simple, cute, and that goes in the last pocket. Okay, now we still have to mat our pockets if we even want to. I kind of like them plain. Um, we need something for the side pocket insert, and we need to make our cover. But I think that we are at a good stopping place. Okay, so let's stop here. Next time we're going to make our cover. And our side pocket insert. Actually, we'll finish next time. We'll, we'll do everything to finish it up next time. So it'll be a two-part um, little tag folder. I really like it. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. Uh, this is a design team project for Country Craft Creations using Authentic Voyage, which you can get there, as well as a little bit of navy artisan cardstock. I used a little bit of craft in here too. I've got these Tim Holtz uh, ephemera. Uh, as far as the collection, I have the 6 and the 12 um, inch size. And I guess that is about it. So, thanks so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, all those other things. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next video. And I will see you next time, and we will finish this little tag folder. Thanks again. Bye-bye.